Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate another of our Cloudversive PDF connectors in Powered Automate. The connector I'll show you today is used for removing annotations and comments from a PDF file, so it's super easy to set up. I'll create a simple and manually triggered flow for this demonstration, but if you only want to see how to access the connector and configure its parameters, you can easily skip ahead to about halfway through the video. Beginning on the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Here, I'm going to click Manually Trigger a Flow and then click Create at the bottom to move on to the Flow Diagram page. Once we're on this page, let's start the flow with a Get File Content action. In this action, I'm going to get my demo file from SharePoint, so I'm clicking New Step and finding the SharePoint Get File Content action below. When configuring this action, I'm going to first select my SharePoint site address, and then I'm going to use the File Picker to select my demo file. Once it populates here, we can move on to the PDF Connector step. I'm now clicking New Step again, and this time I'm typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive PDF Connector with the pink logo. Once you click on this connector, you'll be asked to include your API key and name your connection. If it's your first time using a Cloudmersive connector, you'll just need to quickly register a free account on our website to get an API key. With your free account, you'll get a limit of 800 API calls per month. Once that's all settled, you can navigate a list of actions associated with our PDF connector until you find the one that says remove all PDF annotations, including comments in the document. When you click on this one, you'll see two basic parameters to configure. All we need to do here is click on the first one and select file content, and then copy the file name from the previous step into the second parameter. Once that's done, all you need to do is complete the flow. In this flow, I'm going to create a new file from the output of this operation. I'm going to click New Step and use the action Create File, which once again asks for my site address and a few other details. After selecting my destination folder and giving the file a new name, I'm clicking on the File Content parameter and selecting Output Content from the Dynamic Content window. We now have a flow that will simply remove the annotations and comments present in this document, and it's time to test it out. I'm clicking Save at the bottom of the page, and then clicking Test in the upper right corner. Following that, I'm clicking through a few confirmation windows here before clicking Run Flow to make sure it works. As you can see, after a few seconds, the flow ran smoothly. Now I'm going to quickly check to make sure there is a new file created with the comments removed from the original PDF. Here it is, pristine and comment free. It's super easy to clean up your PDFs with this connector and you can easily create an automated version of this flow which targets a specific folder rather than using a manual trigger like mine. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Powered Automate tutorials in the near future.